Donald Trump has won another state, and some are saying that makes him unstoppable. We're going to get into that and more today. And of course, the Democratic Town Hall last night on CNN, which uh, I think showed such a blatant and wonderful difference between oh, wasn't it? our party and uh, the greedy, <laughs> yeah. greedy sin. Yeah. Over there on uh, the right. I enjoyed all two hours. I have to be honest with you. And and of late, you and I have talked about this among, you know, between us that it's been difficult in this primary. It's been really hard for, you know, lifelong Democrats who are fighting among each other, you know, you know, Bernie versus Hillary, Hillary versus Bernie. And it was a great to see both of them do so well. And there are a lot of times I'm like, oh, I hated that question. I didn't like that answer, but it, it seemed pretty hands off. And just about the issues. Yeah, it, it really did. I uh, tend to be, I'm too sensitive. Um, <laughs> and, and I'm okay with that. That's probably what makes me a, a bleeding heart liberal, so mm-hmm. they say. Um, so I get so bothered by the infighting in the party, but in the same respect, mm-hmm. uh, you know, we all, uh, or most of us, have a candidate that we prefer, and that's okay. That's what primaries are about. And we're going to get into a lot of those uh, discussions and differences and try and think up some ways to make ourselves feel better. (laughs) If, like me, you guys are uh, suffering under the fighting and weight of the Democratic primary. Yeah, it's been a tough one. Right. So we wanted to start off by first and foremost, reminding people what the difference is between us and the Republicans, because that. My friends. Yes. My friends. <laughs> my friends is the distinction that we need to remember. And we heard two perfect clips. Uh, one of them is Bernie, but I, I cannot see Hillary disagreeing with a single word in this clip. Uh, you know, I certainly can't speak for her, but yeah. I, I think it's safe to say this is this is our side. So beautifully put. Every great religion in the world, Christianity, Judaism, Islam, Buddhism, essentially comes down to do unto others as you would like them to do unto you. And what I have believed in my whole life, I believed it when I was a 22-year-old kid getting arrested in Chicago fighting segregation, I believed it in my whole life. That we are in this together, not just not words. The truth is, at some level, when you hurt, when your children hurt, I hurt. I hurt. And when my kids hurt, you hurt. And it's very easy to turn our backs on kids who are hungry or veterans who are sleeping out of the street. And we can develop a psyche, a psychology, which is, I don't have to worry about them. All I'm going to worry about myself. I need to make another $5 billion. But I believe that what human nature is about is that everybody in this room impacts everybody else in all kinds of ways that we can't even understand. It's beyond intellect. It's a spiritual, emotional thing. So I believe that when we do the right thing, when we try to treat people with respect and dignity, when we say that that child who is hungry is my child, I think we are more human when we do that than when we say, hey, this whole world is me. I need more and more. I don't care about anybody else. That's my religion. That's what I believe in. And I think you know most people around the world, whatever their their, their religion, their color, share that belief that we are in it together as human beings. And it becomes more and more practical. If we destroy the planet because we don't deal with with climate change, trust me, we are all in it together. All right? So we have got to work together, and that is, that is what my spirituality is about. That, obviously, was uh, Bernie Sanders speaking at last night's Democratic Town Hall. And I... I think that that is representative of why we are progressives, why we believe in helping one another and, uh, you know, in a stronger society uh, in, dare I say, democratic socialism. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Um, uh, And it is such a stark contrast from the victory speech. We also heard last night from the bombastic billionaire, Quickly uh, taking the nomination of the Republican Party by storm. It's hard for me to turn down money because that's not what I've done in my whole life. I grab and grab and grab. You know, I get greedy. I want money, money. Now I'm going to, I'll tell you what we're going to do, right? We get greedy, right? Now we're going to get greedy for the United States. We're going to grab and grab and grab. So, on one hand, 
we all need each other. You know, we we have to help the least among us because that mm-hmm. is my child. Just hey, Hillary Clinton wrote a book. It takes a village. It takes a village. Yes. And and I think she's absolutely right that mm-hmm. we as a society have to care for those who need our help. And Donald Trump went out there and essentially rehashed a uh, Gordon Gecko speech. <laughs> from Green is good. Yeah, yeah it was. <laughs> Playing the hits. Uh, and that the U.S. needs to be greedy. And I can understand how that resonates with people. Because when you aren't getting raises and you aren't getting, you know, real quality health care and you aren't getting, you know, access to the type of food you eat or the jobs you want. Yeah, you could think of yourself in one way or another as needing to be greedy for yourself. Or perhaps Mm -hmm. you could think that people like Donald Trump, who have the most, could share just a little bit more of that with the rest of us. I think that's what a lot of his followers think he's going to do. I really <laughs> he do. Said not, it himself, not his personal, folks. not his personal, but the, somehow he's going to come in and, and and the United States is a business according to them, and he's going to run this business so incredibly well that everyone's going to get the dividends. Right. I, I really think that's what he, what he is is selling there. Now, first of all, he isn't that he isn't very successful in business. Check. Second, the United States of America, the government is not a business. Check. And I can assure you that those at the top will be the ones who benefit when a billionaire runs things. Right. And he enlisted all the billionaires that were there in the room. You know, you got Steve Wynn and this other, you know, rich person. Who do you think he's really going to represent? Right. Honestly. Who do you think he's representing right now? Why do you think he came out and said that he really loves the poorly educated (laughs) voters? Because he knows that that's his best chance at a win in November is I the, love the poorly educated. <laughs> that has yeah. to go into the uh, IR three sixty for yeah. Tom to just keep on yeah. demand at all times. I love the poorly educated. Yes, I think that sums up his campaign, uh, and I think it sums up the vast difference between the us and the them. Uh, you know, be, between progressives and the rest of the country. Mm-hmm. Uh, we believe that there's enough to go around, and that it starts with caring for those who need our help and trickle. Up. Right. That when the people aren't starving, they have time to, you know, invent stuff and e- boost economic, uh, 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 you know, stimulate the economy, mm-hmm. etc. cetera, uh, rather than hoping and praying that those self-described greedy billionaires might have a little pity for the rest of us. It's, it's Reagan reborn. It's not even Reagan. It's it, because flat out not, Gordon Gecko. Well, but Reagan was the the entree into that whole yeah. greed is good 1980s type of mentality. He was, right. you know, the dynasty. And Tom often talks about this, and I, uh, and for us to write off Donald Trump and say, oh, he's easy to beat. Don't be fooled. Right. Don't be fooled. To me, yeah. it it sums up as I saw Democrats on stage talking about love and values yesterday, and I saw Donald Trump preaching hate. Which one do you want in the White House? To watch more clips from our programs, hit the Watch More Videos button over here. And please be sure to hit the handy-dandy subscribe button so you'll always be up to date. Tag, you're it.